4K technologies are starting to be seen in electronic stores and at the 2014 National Association of Broadcasters show in Las Vegas, but will they be showing up in homes anytime soon? 4K means it's basically four times the resolution of our standard 1080 sets, so uh, more pixels, clearer picture, brighter picture, more vivid colors. Before rushing out and buying a 4K screen, one must consider the different arguments for and against 4K and the implications 4K has on technologies such as gaming and smartphones. But first, one must look at the basics of 4K and whether consumers truly want this technology. There are three components that determine at which resolution one views. Content, players, and screens. The image will only be as clear as the lowest definition signal. One must watch content filmed or remastered at 4K resolution. We have a lot of people asking about, you know, is there any content out there? Uh, not a lot at the moment. You know, Sony's coming out with a lot of movies. One also needs a 4K player in order to output an ultra high definition video to 4K screens. This can be a device such as Sony's 4K media player, which plays content downloaded from the internet, or a future device that would play 4K broadcast signals, if and when those are developed. Finally, one must have an ultra high definition screen in order to see 4K clarity. We've been selling quite a few. I mean, they come in and they see the, the great picture and it's a little hard for them to, you know, not buy it with the, how, how great it is. So the only thing that's probably keep them from buying it right now is maybe the cost. The price of a 55-inch screen at maximum sight and sound is $3,000. Smaller 40-inch models are $1,500, though Root has seen prices on all the 4K TVs lowering. There are still some drawbacks to adopting 4K. Some say the human eye cannot perceive the high 4K resolution when viewing from 6 to 10 feet away. Additionally, the average consumer may not even understand 4K. Professionals are also learning to incorporate 4K into their workflows. Matt Miller, the creative video coordinator at Prairie Lakes Church in Cedar Falls, Iowa, recently upgraded to the Canon 1DC, a 4K DSLR camera. We use 4K in kind of a unique way. Um, we don't actually distribute any of our projects in 4K anywhere, um, but the beauty of it is it just is such a, uh, such a high amount of resolution that we're able to digitally crop in on the back end and use it for multiple cameras um, when I just am actually using one, which is great for kind of one-man shows like what we do here. There's some downsides to it. Um, I had to upgrade a lot of my uh, computing hardware just because it's just such a huge data rate. You wouldn't believe how much memory it takes to record 4K. I you know, use 128 gig cards that are like the fastest you can buy and that gives me about a half hour worth of record time. Miller says that perhaps there is still a disconnect between 4K and consumers. My experience has been that most people don't really know what 4K is. Um, they're still kind of coming around to learning what 1080 and 720 mean. Um, and I think that the, the consumers are typically a little bit behind what's being used in the film industry. It appears that 4K still has a way to go in consumer minds. Yet one can assume that this 4K technology won't be going away anytime soon. I'm Olivia Hoddle with UNITV.